now is not the time to let the Republicans raise taxes on thousands of Texas families in order to provide more tax breaks for a privileged few. Republicans would hike the taxes by almost $500 for a married Marine corporal with four years of service and two children living in church. That's wrong. Nor is this the time for Republicans to tax opportunity. A single mom working as a nurse, helping a daughter attend the Alamo Colleges or Texas State or ACC would be denied the $2,500 higher education tax credit that I authored. All of this in the very same bill that would give a Republican who earns a million dollars a tax cut that is larger than that Marine or that nurse will earn in an entire year. If there were an Olympic medal out there for protecting those sitting atop the economic ladder by suppressing and at the expense of those trying to get a foothold on one of the first rungs, these Republicans would have no competition for going for the gold. Nor has this trickle-down Republican approach grown our jobs and our economy. Extending tax breaks for those at the very top, it was done in 2010 over my objection. It hasn't grown jobs in the past year any more than it helped to avoid the Bush-Cheney recession. And as for this much ballyhooed Ernst & Young report, it was bought and paid for by the same millionaires that are going to get the tax break bigger than what the nurse or the Marine earns all of next year, along with a few large corporations who paid for the report. It is not credible. Uh, it is not just to see some Americans have to lose tax breaks in order to help the few gain even more. I yield back.